Hey guys, RTT back here for that video. Guys, it finally happened. We got the more stable edition of Android 12 beta on the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Now, how has it changed? How much has it improved? Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, some things that have been fixed, guys. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Starting off right away, there was an issue with photos where they were not being moved into the correct folders in gallery, improved camera operations, improved the operations of lock screens such as pause, blur, extra, fixed Wi-Fi automatic connection errors, fixed a issue with the outer display not going up to 120 hertz, fixed a SD stabilization uh, codes, re reboot pause extra, improved the operations of screen and errors when switching between the outer display and inner display. Pretty much what happened is that certain applications would not actually transfer over to inner displays. So if you open up Instagram on the outer display, you open it up, it would actually not transfer over and not let you be able to use Instagram on the inner display. That was an issue for some people and improve charging operations so let's go ahead and start off right away by saying has these updates improved my experience with android 12 especially using it on the galaxy z fold 3 and i'll tell you right now me personally speaking wise 100 percent yes and i've already said this in many videos before i love android 12 i absolutely love it on the z fold 3 and when i use the surface duo 2 and i go back to that phone because it is my daily driver for right now it really does show how much I miss Android 12. And I said this in other videos, and I'll say it again. Android 12 is an update of no, unlike any other. It's not an update where it gives you 100,000 new features, and you're like, oh my god, this is, this is amazing, this is amazing, this is amazing. It gives you a lot of background features. It gives you features where you might not even think about you wanting to be a feature on your phone, right? So let's start off with the, way with the first feature I like. First feature I like is color scheme. So now there's a whole entire new color palette with Android 12. And I'll definitely say it's quite amazing. So starting off right away, when you are going ahead and choosing your color palette, you can choose it depending on what your background color scheme is. So for example, let's say you have a very vibrant and you know colorful background screen. You can actually choose whatever colors you want. And those colors will now be your inner dis when you go ahead and open an application, it will be those colors and also so it will be the colors of the icons on your screen when you are using it. So for example, your messaging icon, let's say for example, your background is all blue. You can make that all blue too, which is really just a nice little addition slash feature. Second thing updated with Android 12 that I do definitely love widgets. Widgets are now very customizable and they just added a lot more widgets to the actual phone. There's also a whole entire new weather application widget with Android 12. And I will definitely say it is just a lot different than Android 11. Third thing, picture in picture is now completely changed with Android 12. You now have cool, full customizable slash, you know, control of picture in picture. And it just works a lot more fluent with Android 12. There also is other updates like camera updates that have been improved. Uh, one thing I will say I've noticed recently with Android 12 was when I'm using the camera now, there are two little circles. The circle being where you go ahead and take the picture of. You can now, the second one, you can move it around the whole entire screen. It's just a nice little addition, nice little feature. You have it on a tripod. You can go ahead and just click on the screen wherever you want, wherever it is convenient for you rather than having to go ahead and always go to the right-hand side of the screen. Now, I will say other uh, things that have been fixed is, of course, Control Center. It's a little bit updated now. There's also more setting app. There's more uh, privacy in the settings apps, which I do like a lot. And also, lock screens have been improved. Now, for the issues people are having with this phone, have they been affecting me? Number one, yes. And I'm going to talk about the ones that have been affecting me. And I'm going to cover the ones that have not been affecting me. Number one that has been affecting me would be that outer display running at 120 hertz. Currently, when I was using the Android 12 beta, it was running anywhere from 60 to 90 hertz. Now, it's not too much of a big deal. For me personally, I do use the outer display more than probably anybody else watching this video right now. Um, but with that being said, though, Still not too much of a big deal for me, even though, yes, I was highly affected by it. Um, I'm used to, you know, using like iPhones and stuff like that that had 60 hertz. So not having that 120 hertz wasn't like it was a deal breaker for me, but it definitely was something when I look back and I'm like, okay, that's that's something. It's nice that they updated and actually fixed that issue. That's something I, I rather them update it right away and fix it. 
but now when I go from like 60 hertz before, and now I'm back to 120 hertz with Android 12, I'm like, okay, yeah, no, that is absolutely amazing. Second thing, the issue was people said when you went from the out of the display, having an application open, you open up an inner display and actually it would not work. Sometimes it would crash. Sometimes they said it was text overlay that would mess up. I have had that issue a couple times, but not too, too many. And I will definitely say it wasn't a big deal for me. Again, like I said, I'm used to having phones that get a little glitchy and <laughs> surface duo. Yeah, you know, I had to make the jab there. Uh, but with that being said, though, it wasn't too much of a big deal to me. And I will definitely say the fact they fixed it is absolutely amazing. Now, there are some issues still going on. And of course, that is with the health app. There are issues with that. And there's also issues with the camera app. Now, keep in mind, this is not the full and final form of Android 12 yet. We're going to get that early December. So right now, this is still the beta. We're still, you know, currently rocking the beta. But eventually, we're going to get the full edition, the stability edition, the actual full Android 12. And I think that's when we're going to see a lot more of these issues right now fixed. And we're going to have a more stable device. Now, right now, I will say, even though it's a beta, and I've said this since the beginning, it is very stable. It does everything I need it to do without any hassle at all. And I have not had this crash on me one time. So I'll definitely say shout out to Google for that because they're doing a pretty dang good job at avoiding any issues when it comes to this beta. Now, I've said this many times, I'll say it again, Android 12 L is what we're actually waiting for when it comes to this Galaxy Z Fold 3. But even not having Android 12 L, just having Android 12, it is so much of a difference going back to the Surface Duo 2 that is running Android 11. It is my daily driver at the moment and going back to it, I really do miss Android 12. And I said before, it just comes down to one simple thing. It comes down to not having those extra features that might just be in the background, but has come really just have become a, a custom to my life every single day using my phones. So I'll definitely say, you know, since this beta update, the last update we had now, everything for me personally have been fixed. I have not had any issues with this the last two days and I absolutely love Android 12 on this device and the beta has made it even better that they actually update and fix a lot of things Guys if you did enjoy this video hit the like and subscribe button down below Tell me your thoughts and opinions down below and make sure to like and subscribe button guys We're about to hit a thousand subscribers. I do appreciate you guys. Peace out